Welcome to Eaton Engineering. This is uh, this video is intended to show you how to best use the rail bender, the curve rail rail bender. And the rail bender consists of um, a frame, a crank handle, a movable die which moves up and down, stationary die, and a driving die. And to use this, you will need two seven sixteenths inch wrenches. To adjust the movable die to the desired location and it works best if you put the uh, rail bender in a vise um, such as this one here uh, it'll need to open to five inches wide but the first step in using this after you've clamped it into the um, into your vise is to find out where the neutral point is going to be for the die before you even put a bend into it. So put a sample piece of your rail into the uh, rail bender like that and adjust the movable die so it is just touching the top of the rail and it's very um, very snug against that rail. Now at this point no bend will be produced because there's no tension against the rail but you need to know where to start because each rail profile is going to have a different size, uh, different width uh, neck, and it's going to have a different, slightly different geometry. So use the piece of the rail you're going to be working with to find where that neutral point is, and then remove it, and just put a slight amount of maybe a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch uh, movement on the die, on the movable die, and then using your seven sixteenth inch wrenches, snug it down. Each piece of rail, each rail profile is going to be a little bit different. But to put a uh, piece of rail through here, like this one, and get a die, uh, get a get a curve on it, you push it in until the drive die, until it's starting to wedge between the drive die and the movable die, and then once it's captured, you can start to crank it through, like so. And take it out and see, see what kind of a bend you've got on it there. And this is a real slight bend, it's probably about Oh, I'm guessing a 30 foot radius and if that's what you want then you're all set up. Of course you can readjust it any any amount of time you want to put a, a big bigger curve in it. So just for demonstration purposes I'm going to do that. I'm going to move it down just a little bit more. It doesn't take much. So when you adjust the, the adjustable die just do it a just a real small amount at a time, like so. And we'll tighten it up. Let's see what kind of a bend this will give us. And once again, just put this in here until it captures. It's captured now, we can crank it through. And sure enough, we're getting a much sharper bend. That's probably, I'm guessing, a 25 foot radius curve right there. But using this method, you can get it all the way down to like a 10 foot radius if you, if you want. That's pretty much it. Thank you.